me. Where do I begin with the new Batman movie? Um, what can I possibly say that you haven't already heard from your friends by now? It's been out like two, three days. When Batman Begins came out, I actually put that movie up on the level, uh, up on the same level as the first Batman movie with Jack Nicholson, Michael Keaton, um, Tim Burton, Danny Elfman. Everybody was, a, you know, took part in that movie. It was, it was actually a really good movie, a really good Batman movie. Plus, it had the Batwing. After watching the new movie, uh, I was absolutely blown away by it. It's amazing, and I put it above the very first Batman movie. I might be in the minority on, on this thought, but I actually thought it was the best Batman movie ever made. I'm not a huge Batman fan. I didn't even see part three or part four because I just really didn't want to be disgusted. But uh, the first Batman I thought was really good. Batman Begins, I was like, wow, this is if they continue this, this is going to be really good. Um, the new Batman, The Dark Knight, is above and beyond any Batman I've ever seen. It is two and a half hours long, so it's a bit long. They could have ended it a couple times. I actually felt a perfect ending two or three times before they really did end it. It wasn't like Return of the King, though, where the endings just... There was just like 26 endings or whatever. This one had a couple endings it could have ended on, but it kept twisting the plot, and there was just more stories, and twists and turns and I actually just I totally love this movie actually the only scene that I didn't like about this movie was very very almost the very beginning um, after they introduced the Joker in the in the bank robbery scene uh, there's a scene with people dressing up as Batman and just how they introduced Batman I thought was really not cool at all it just really was a letdown actually how they introduced Batman um, and they had a bunch of people with Matt Batman suits on and stuff, and it was just not good at all. There was even a person with a scarecrow uh, mask on. It just wasn't really good. Um, besides that scene, which is right at the beginning almost, um, besides that scene, I thought the movie was just, like I said, unbelievable. Uh, Heath Ledger did a, an amazing job. He really was insane. Um, he really was. He did a great job. I'm sure his family's going to get an award for this. It, he did a, just a fantastic job. I saw Hellboy 2 the same night I saw Batman. Um, Hellboy Part 1, actually, I thought was good. It was entertaining. Um, I liked it. This one, I felt the exact same. It was entertaining. It was good. Um, the imagery that this director puts in the, in the movies, I mean, if you guys have seen Pan's Labyrinth, it's just it's amazing. It reminds me like... Hellraiser meets The Cell, meets Legend, just a whole bunch of movies, but uh, this guy's visionary, just imagery that he puts on screen is, is amazing. Uh, the movie Hellboy 2, it was pretty good, uh, it was worth watching, good imagery, good special effects, uh, but then you just go and see Batman and it just, nothing compares to Batman. Uh, you know, honestly, I, I liked Iron Man a lot, I was very surprised on Iron Man, I was like, Iron Man's a really good movie, and then I saw Hulk, I was like, this is a good movie too. And then you see Batman, and it makes those movies not look so good. I've been gone actually quite a while, sorry. Uh, I haven't been doing these reviews very often anymore, sorry. A few other movies you may or may not want to see. Uh, Wanted, I gave Wanted six stars. It was pretty good, Angelina Jolie. It kind of reminded me of Jumper, I Wanted to be the Matrix. It just wasn't quite there. It was okay. Uh, Wally, -E. actually I give Wally -E seven stars. It was good. It was. A, it's totally a children's movie. It's a family movie. Um, the first thirty or forty minutes, I thought, were actually amazing with uh, with just Wally and then Eve lands, and it's just them two on the planet. Amazing. I really, really liked that. Whenever they flew uh, to the to the ship where the fat humans are, it kind of lost a little bit, but still, I give it seven stars. It was a good movie. Hancock. Uh, I give Hancock six stars. This movie started out within the first four or five minutes. I wanted to walk out of the movie theater. We almost did. <laughs> but um, stuck around, and it kept getting better and better and better, and it turned into an actually pretty good movie. Um, I was just really afraid of this movie. Uh, Will wearing X-Men tights, and what, what do we want with a drunk superhero? You know, we just don't need this. Uh, we already have Iron Man, Hulk, and... We got Hellboy coming out and Batman. It's just, do we really need another superhero movie? No, but the movie was pretty good. Um, I give it six stars. Hellboy 2, I'm going to give seven stars. And Batman The Dark Knight, I give nine stars, which is actually rare, but I think it was totally, totally worth it. Nine stars. 
Uh, thank you guys for watching Bill's Two Men Movie Reviews.com. Check it out. I'm going to start doing movie reviews a little bit more often. Sorry, it's been about three or four weeks since I've done a review. Take care. Bye bye.